All right, we've got a quick little presentation here on genetics and probability. Uh, it seems to be something that you guys are pretty familiar with. I know you did a little work with it last year, so hopefully this little review will just refresh your memory on some of these things. So a little vocabulary that we're going to have to get through here. So first of all, genetics is the study of how traits are passed on from parents to offspring. And someone who's considered the father of modern genetics is a guy named Gregor Mendel. He was a German philosopher, believe it or not, and uh, he, he did some studies with uh, pea plants in order to, uh, to take a closer look at how traits are passed from one generation to the next. Now, some people often wonder, why would he use pea plants? Why not use, like, you know, rats or dogs or something? And I think one of the a good reason for that was that he could make several generations of pea plants within a year, whereas with dogs or mice or something like that, it, he wouldn't be able to get as many generations in a short amount of time. So he was able to look at many generations over a short period of time, and he could see those changes or how the traits were passed on from one generation to the next in a quicker amount of time rather than having... Uh, something that takes too long to become mature enough to have offspring. The DNA is the key to genetics. It's a molecule that carries the genetic co your genetic code. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Now I'm not going to quiz you on that, but it does sound like something cool to know, so just in case it appears as, I don't know, extra credit or something. Now, DNA is actually housed within your chromosomes, okay? Now, humans have 46 chromosomes, and there's 23 from each parent. Traits are just characteristics, things like your, you know, your, your hair color or your eye color, things like that. And, whoa, I'm not sure that trait was passed on from their parents Unless, of course, her father was Big Bird, I guess. Now, these traits are expressed as genes. So an allele is a gene from your parents for a specific trait. And you have uh, two alleles for every trait. And those are all carried on your chromosomes in pairs. So you get one allele from each parent. And you can see on the little chromosome here, I've sort of uh, highlighted an area. And that's how they would appear. They would appear in roughly the same place on the chromosome. And those pairs of alleles are what determine your traits. Now, a dominant gene is what determines the trait or the characteristic that you see. And generally, when uh, you're writing down uh, the gene pairs or the allele pairs, it would be expressed as a capital letter. And a recessive gene is a gene that could sort of be hidden, okay? You could carry the gene for a specific trait, but it's not something that you see because you're, it's paired up with a dominant gene. And usually those are expressed as lowercase letters. A little more vocabulary to go here. So the genotype is just the pairs of alleles written out, and that's what helps you identify uh, the trait. So in the case here, we've got a capital B, lowercase b. And the phenotype would be actually the physical characteristic. So the way I like to remember this is genotype is the genes, and phenotype is the physical characteristic. Now, I'm sure most of you are familiar with the Punnett square, and this is what helps you determine the probability of what the genotype will be. So, probability is just basically the chances that something will occur. So, let's try a little practice with the Punnett square here. Here we've got a father with a phenotype of brown eyes, and he carries both dominant genes, and that's expressed there as capital B's, and the mother 
has blue eyes, and her genotype is carrying both recessive genes for blue eyes, the lowercase b's. So the way a Punnett square works is pretty simple. Uh, you just distribute these letters into the boxes. So uh, we take one lowercase b and drag it down, and a capital B and drag it over. And we'll do the same for the next box. We'll take another B, bring it down, and a capital B and bring it over. And for the bottom row, we will drag a lowercase b down and a capital B over. And the last box, we will again take the lowercase b, bring it down, and shove that capital B over. And you can see that the only possibility for a genotype here is the offspring will carry both the dominant and recessive gene. So, what is the phenotype going to be? That's right, brown eyes. So, now it's your turn. Let's take a look at this Punnett square. We've got a mother and father that both have the genotype of the dominant brown-eyed gene and the recessive blue-eyed gene. So both parents have brown eyes. So here is your Punnett square box and you can see there is one in your graphic organizer as well. And you want to set it up as it's shown here. And I want you to take a minute and fill in that Punnett square. So here's what you should have. Okay, so if we look at this, we've got a genotype of capital B, capital B, so that is a brown-eyed child, and that only occurs once out of four times. So the probability of having that genotype is 25%. Now you can see that uh, the genotype of the dominant brown-eyed gene mixed with a recessive blue-eyed gene happens twice, out of four times, so it's a 50% probability. Now, we've got 25% chance of having both dominant genes and a 50% chance of having a mix of the genes, so there's a 75% chance of that being a brown-eyed child. But you can see down in the lower corner there, there is a 25% chance that these parents would have a blue-eyed child.